All right, so here we are looking at one of the level one practice tests that we've got. Um, here's the first question. We're on the non-calculator section, and if you would like, you're welcome to pause the video, have a read through the question yourself, maybe give it a try. Uh, but I'm just gonna talk through how we answer the question. So first, we'll give it a read through. Uh, Jack is keeping a record of the number of steps he takes each day. Um, we can see here that on, on Monday, he took 8,565 steps, and we have the details for the rest of uh, the days. Uh, question A wants us to work out the range of the number of steps. Uh, it's a range keyword we're going to need there. Uh, and then later on, we're going to need to show a check of our answer. Now, this is non-calculator, so we're going to have to do, do this without a calculator. Uh, the range is the biggest, take away the smallest. So uh, range is one of those things that goes along with averages. It's not actually an average itself, uh, but it's the difference between the biggest, uh, it's the biggest minus the smallest. So for this data, that means we're going to be looking at the biggest number, which seems to be for Wednesday, and the smallest number, which looks to be for Monday. So if I need to find the difference between those without a calculator, uh, I'm just going to do column subtraction. Now this is something that you may want to do on a piece of paper. I, I would like to do on a piece of paper, so I'm going to do it uh, using a pen here on the screen. Um, and then what we'll do is, after we've done our working out, we'll transfer it onto this working out box. So because, of course, anything you do on paper, won't be marked. You're only marked for what you put on the screen. So uh, we need to do the biggest takeaway, the smallest. So the biggest number of steps was 15,323. And we're subtracting from that 8,565. Good. So uh, we're going to start by trying to do 3 minus 5, but we can't do that. So when we do column subtraction, we borrow. So I'm going to knock that 2 down to a 1 to turn my 3 into 13. And I can do 13 minus 5, that's 8. Next, I'm trying to do 1 minus 6. Again, we can't do that, so we borrow. We knock the 3 down to a 2, making our 1 into 11. And 11 take away 6, I can do, that's 5. 2 take away 5, still can't do it, so I borrow again, making this 4, turning my 2 into 12. And 12 take away 5 is 7. 4 take away 8, we can't do it, so I borrow, knocking my 1 down to 0, turning my 4 into 14 and 14 take away eight is six. So the answer to uh, 15,323 minus 8,565 is this. And because we did the biggest takeaway to the smallest, that's the range. But like I said, everything I've written there so far is what you'd have on paper in front of you. And we're only marked for what goes on the screen. So I'm gonna transfer all of that onto the working out box. Now there are different ways we could do this. Um, we, you don't necessarily have to set out your um, answer in this working out box in the same way that you did on paper. So it would be fine to write out 15,323 and then we'll drag this minus sign in, minus uh, 8,565, uh, and then there's no space left, but that's okay. We're just going to put the equals down here. It equals 6,758. That's fine. You don't have to like copy your working out exactly. Uh, it's fine to leave it like that. Um, but, of course, we need to put the answer in the answer box. So how many steps was that? It was 6,758. Um, now, it's, it's looking a little bit blurry, but that's only because I've zoomed in. So if you look down in the corner here, you have these zoom buttons that let you um, see the question a bit more clearly, if you would like to, uh, which I've done so that you can see what I'm doing a bit more easily. But part B is asking us to show a check of our answer. Now, there are lots of different ways of showing a check. Um, I'm going to do a check using a reverse calculation. So because I've got something quite nice in my working out here that I can do backwards, um, I'm going to do it backwards and that's our reverse calculation, which is our check. So to do a reverse calculation, you take something you've done. For example, if I had done uh, 10 plus six equals 16, then my reverse calculation would start with the answer, which was 16. Instead of adding six, I'm going to take away six. So I'm doing the opposite. And my answer will hopefully be the same number that's left over. So if we had 10 plus 6 equals 16, then 16 minus 6 should be 10, which it is uh, because I did the original question correctly. So we're going to do that with our slightly more complicated numbers. Uh, we're going to do a check of our work here. And this time I am just going to do it straight in the working out box. So we start, uh, well, we start our calculation with the previous answer, which was 6, 7, 5, 8. Instead of taking away 8,565, we're going to add 8,565. And uh, the answer should be 
15,323. And you may want to do that on a piece of paper to make sure it's right, because of course we are actually trying to check our answer. So if I do quickly add those two numbers together, we'll see if it does come to 15,323, which it should if my answer was correct. So just quickly, 6,758 plus 8,565. Okay, eight plus five is 13, so three carry one. Uh, one and five is six, plus another six is 12, so two carry one. One and seven is eight, plus another five is 13, so that's three carry one. And one and six is seven, plus eight is 15. Uh, so the answer is 15,323. So I'll put that in my working out box. So equals 15,323, which is the answer that I was looking for. So that's, that's my check, my check works. So in the answer box, 6758 plus 8565 equals 15,323. Uh, all I'm doing is just writing out what we did down here. Uh, and there we go. So the range was the biggest takeaway, the smallest. So we took the biggest and we subtracted from it the smallest. Um, and then for a check of our answer, we did a reverse calculation. Um, there are different ways of doing a check, but that's the way we did it today. Um, and there we have it. That's how we answer this particular question.